Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general love read uh, for Aries. Uh, this is going to be for the first half of your February from the 1st to the 15th. You could apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, we're going to take a look at your current overall energies regarding love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then... We'll finish off the read with a possible outcome and advice. Um, so uh, feel free to apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Uh, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Um, share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know uh, that needs to hear this. And uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, uh, the link is in the description box uh, below, okay? Um, we're going to do a you versus them, them okay? Um, so you're going to be on my left side and your person's going to be on uh, uh, my right. So free for you to, you know, switch the roles if you want and just apply it to whichever side resonates with you, okay? And then in the middle, we'll uh, do the outcome and advice, okay? Um, so uh, let's get started here. Uh, tell me about Aries. What are their current energies uh, regarding uh, love and the person that they are connecting with for February 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for Aries? With the Ace of Swords and a Seven of Pentacles, you know. Um, so here, so the, the, this this is your side over here on my left side. Um, you know, I feel like you're thinking about what you want to say to this individual, or you know, what you're learning from this experience with this individual here. I feel like you're really deep, deep, deep in thought right now. Um, we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Could be dealing with the Taurus. We have the world. You might even have Taurus in your chart too. We have the Eight of Pentacles. And the Nine of Cups. You know, I feel like something is not working out. Okay? Because I feel like Aries for you, I feel like whatever this is, it just seems like it's too much work. I do feel like, you know, you might be considering ending this connection here with somebody. You're feeling like it's too much work. It's not going anywhere and it's affecting your happiness. I do feel like you're having a hard time making this decision, okay? And I feel like you're thinking about this a lot. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I, I feel like you're trying to make a judgment call here on speaking to this individual, okay? Let's see what else we have here. All right, tell me about this Ace of Swords. Why is this Ace of Swords here? Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Six of Cups. You know, I feel like the reason why it's not working out, it's because someone here is still thinking about an ex. Okay? Yeah, someone here is still thinking about an ex. Someone here is missing an ex. So, it seems as up, Aries, currently, you're in a connection that you're not really happy in. 
because an ex is still on your mind, okay? Seven of Pentacles, Five of Swords. So Aries, I feel like you're in your head a lot right now regarding the sex here, okay? You know, someone here could have made some mistakes here. Seems like you are thinking about the conflicts that you had with your individual here, with your person. Um, Hierophant, look at that, five of wands. I really feel like you you might currently be in a situation where you're not happy in right now. And, you know, with the world card, this is telling me that there could be unfinished business with the next. The world. Yep. The two of cups. This is definitely past energy for sure, okay? So, <clears throat> I really feel like there's unfinished business here. Um, I really feel like whatever situation that you're in currently, I feel like you're not really happy in right now. Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. Nine of Cups and a Six of Swords. We have the Page of Pentacles here on the bottom of the deck. So I don't know if you're trying to move towards somebody for an apology or that you're trying to reconcile with somebody, okay? Queen of Wands, there you are right there. Um, it just seems like you're not really happy with where you're at. Now keep in mind, this could be the person that you're dealing with. Like I said, just apply it to where you see fit, okay? Um, tell me about the person that uh, Aries is dealing with here. What are their true feelings and intentions towards Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for February 2022. Oh, we have judgment. You know, it seems like both of you guys are seeking reconciliation here. Judgment, Sagittarius energy, Scorpio energy. So this is your person right here on the uh, on my right side. Um, could be dealing with the Sagittarius here or Scorpio. Oh jeez, hold on one sec. That's too money. All right, let's see what we have here. All right, the Knight of Wands. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. It, it, it seems as though both of you guys are looking for some sort of reconciliation here, okay? Uh, Eight of Wands. So it looks like your person is looking to communicate with you. Seven of Wands. Ace of Swords. We got the Ace of Swords right here, too. Ten of Cups. Seems like this person wants to communicate the same thing that you have on your mind. 
Okay. Interesting. We got the king. It's the queen of wands right here. Four of wands. Could be dealing with the twin flame. Um, very strong soul tie here, okay? Tell me about judgment. Tell me about judgment. Three of Wands. Knight of Wands. <clears throat> Ace of Wands. I mean, this individual here, they want to plan a future with you. They're so very passionate towards you. Okay? So I'm not quite sure, you know, what happened here in the past, but I'm sensing that there was a lot of conflict, okay? There could have been conflict in um, your morals, your core values here. Because it just seems like there was a lot of fighting Special with the fives here. Eight of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. Six of Wands. There's a lot of intensity and a lot of passion with this person. Look at all these Wands. Ace of Swords, wow, Four Wands again, Ten of Cups, and the Emperor, Aries Energy. Someone here is maturing here, from a Knight to an Emperor, okay? Seems like this person on this side has done some inner work on themselves. Made some changes, okay? <coughs> All right, let's see. Alvin and advice for Aries regarding their love situation. For the first half, of their February from the uh, 1st to 15th. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Outcome and advice for Aries regarding their love situation. What else does Aries need to know? All right, let's see what we have for you. We have Temperance, strong Sagittarius energy here, okay? Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. Justice, Libra energy. The Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Empress. Okay, so we have the Empress to the Emperor. This is a strong soul tie. Ace of Swords. You know, I do feel like there's going to be some sort of action taken here between you and this person to make things right here. Okay? I do feel like there's going to be some sort of success and victory here between you and your person. Okay, let's see what else we have. Temperance. King of Swords. I mean, 
we have a masculine here that is making a plan, I feel. Making a plan to bring peace to the connection, to make things right, to balance things out. Knight of Swords. Wow, Two of Cups. We got the Two of Cups two times here. Justice. This could also be a same-sex relationship. It doesn't have to be. Just apply this to your own unique situation. Two of Swords. Knight of Wands. Nine of Swords. You know, here's the thing. I feel like this masculine energy on this side really wants this really bad. But I feel like this person is so stressed out that they might screw up again. So, I don't know. I feel like this person has a history of screwing up. Empress. <clears throat> Eight of Wands. Ace of Swords. And the Six of Swords here. There's going to be some sort of reconciliation here. And I feel like you guys are going to put in an equal amount of energies and try to fix this, okay? I mean, there will be a conversation. You guys are going to move to much calmer waters, okay? You guys are in this energy of resolving your issues. So, so Aries, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. Uh, if it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.